so what's up? Welcome to another Cooking with Trish and Baby Trish. Um, I am eight and a half months pregnant, so I've been nesting, I've been cooking, I've been doing all of the yummy stuff. Today we are going to be trying seasoned potato wedges. I love potato wedges. I see them at the deli all the time. I always got them like my whole life. So I thought, why not try these? Those look very simple. Of course, you know, simple recipes are never my forte because I always seem to mess them up. This one looks like pretty much foolproof, trish proof, all of that. So we're going to be making potato wedges today. So excited. I'm just craving like fries, potatoes, crunchy, everything. So I have my oven preheated to 400 and we're going to cut up some potatoes. We're also going to be making chicken schnitzel, which is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I showed you guys this a million times, but I'm going to show you again because I just love it so much. And then we're going to have a mukbang at the end. So let's go. Cooking with Trish. So we have our potatoes. She got the russet potatoes. So we're having russet potatoes and we are going to cut them into wedges. So it's like half, I think. And then half again. Aha, wedges. And half again. I think she said you could like go more if you want. Perfect, but we can just cut that in half. Just like a little wedge. And this. Cut that in half, a little wedge. So they're like different size wedges. And we're gonna put them into a bowl for seasoning. Alrighty, so now we are going to put all our potato wedges together. Quite a few potato wedges in here. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be a lot. Because she said to not overlap them, so we're gonna have to do a couple trays. So what we're gonna do is do she just has like the traditional spices. So she has garlic powder. And I always just measure my own seasoning. This might be a lot. Hers didn't look like a lot, but I love seasoning. It's my favorite thing. I feel like I have a good eye for it. Then we have some onion powder, which I haven't used this in a while. And the last time I used it, kind of. But I don't know it's onion powder. Mm, I love these two seasonings. So good. And then paprika, which has been the seasoning lately for everything. And I'm not going to lie, paprika tastes so good. Such a good spice. And then, of course, the potato wedges. So you got to, yeah. Salt them wedges. Mmm, yummy. And then, of course, the olive oil. To get them nice and crispy. Okay. So now we're going to marinate them all around and get all the spices up in each one. Make sure they all stick with spices. They all gather spices. Mm. The counter's clean, I'm gonna take those right back and put them in, but yeah. Just really coat all of them as best as possible. So it's like marinating chicken, but marinating potatoes. Mm, it smells really good. Okay, wait, I feel like I missed a step. Shoot. <laughs> wait, I feel like she dried them and she said it was really important to dry them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> she really emphasized that like drying them were a really big thing and I, I don't know what I was thinking, so. I'm just kind of nervous because they do look kind of wet. I mean, I just put olive oil on them, so that's probably why. So I'm going to re-season these, <laughs> which is fine. I never have enough season, but I'm just going to, like, dry these as best as I can. Oh, my God. Literally the most important step. She's like, do not skip this step. It's, like, the only complicated step. Dry them off. All right, so... Now we're gonna just transfer them over. Just make sure they're dry real quick. So I'm gonna just flip. <laughs> I mean, the paper towel on the bottom kind of does this, but you know, flip all these and just do another dry pat down because I want to make sure these are dry. Okay. I mean, they're potatoes, so they're pretty. They're pretty tough. Okay. So now we're going to put them back in here to season. And hopefully they are 
dry potatoes. <laughs> and I gotta do these for the other one. So, okay. These are the potato wedges, re-seasoned, re-imagined. I have my oven set to 400, and I am going to start lining these up. Now, the big thing she said is to not overlap. She's like, get two sheets, do not overlap them. So, we're going, we're going with the rules. <laughs> and they smell really good. I hope the seasoning caught, I mean, it looks like it did, but I don't know, we got different shapes because, you know, expert cutter. Try not to come too close together. These big ones remind me of childhood. Like at our grocery store, they always had like potato wedges. Actually, now they have potato wedges too, and I like love potato wedges. They're like my favorite thing. So I'm excited to have these like homemade. Try them out. Okay, that looks like they're pretty evenly spaced. I might actually need another one. But yeah, so you put these in for 20 minutes and then you flip. I should have had them different ways, but that's fine. Okay, here. They are going to put them in the preheated oven for 20 minutes. And then we are going to flip, so. In they go, set it and forget it. It's totally Joshua Weiserman's like breading technique. And I just really, really love it every time I bread chicken now, this is like what I do. So since there's not a lot of steps in the potato wedge recipe, I'll just show you guys again, if you've seen it, you go ahead and skip this part, but basically he has his dry, which is just flour. I think he measures out like two cups. I just really, really like to coat it nicely. And then salt and pepper. I used to not salt and pepper my flour, but it does make a difference. But I had to like rewatch, so the last couple times I made it, I forgot to do the salt and pepper. And I was like, something didn't, didn't hit the same, so. Then, for our wet mixture, we use eggs and a little water. So, again, I used to just use eggs, but I do think the water makes a little bit of a difference. So, pack one, two, oops, little shell for protein. Um, three, four, and then I do five for good luck. He always does four, but again, I tend to really lather mine in there. So we got five for good luck. The salt and pepper into the flour mixture. Then we're gonna put the water in with the eggs. And we are going to whisk those together. Oh, there's a little shell in there. Okay, got it. So just break up the yolk and mix them all together. Nice and wet. Scramble those babies up. These always remind me of scrambled eggs and then I want scrambled eggs because they look so freaking good. Okay. And then our final little step is the panko crumb station. These are my favorite. I'm kind of like a panko crumb expert now, so. There's that, okay. So now we go on to the chicken. We have our thinly sliced Chicken breast, I like them super thin sliced, like almost chicken parm status. And it has a little bit of potato seasoning, but hey, that is A O. -S. All right, so we start with our flour. And like really, like the biggest secret besides the thin slice is to really coat. I feel like in the past, I would just like kind of, I, did, I just didn't love the part of like breading and coating. So I really, really make sure it's like all freaking covered. Like even to that point, just like, okay covered 
Then I shake off the flour and I make sure the same thing over here with the wet. Like really, really coat the wet on both sides just to make sure, you know, every inch is coated. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference. And these panko crumbs too, these make a big difference because I'm telling you, these are the best ones ever. And then we're going to put them here. And then with the panko, I take, can you see the panko? Yeah. I just take and I try and just go over top to really, you know, get that in there. <laughs> and really, really, really take my time on each one because it just makes such a difference, I'm telling you. So you can move it over and do kind of the same thing on this side to give it the same TLC. Have, like don't even have any of the eggs showing or anything and that is a coated chicken right there and it looks so perfect so i'm gonna rinse and repeat for the rest moment of truth the taste up all right i already know i messed these up no yeah because the what? wafers are like perfectly seasoned like the coloring goes over the whole potato i really think i just didn't dry them enough she really like rinses them really good after we rinsed it before we washed it before then she cuts them then she rinses them good again and then she like puts them in like a towel and like Derive them, you know what I mean? So we try to salvage it by like drying them after, but it kind of kind of just ended up in like this kind of weird seasoning. We'll try it, it's hot, it is so hot. I was gonna try one for my thumbnail. I was like, oh, let's see. What? <laughs> it definitely shouldn't be like. Flop just seasoning on there. <laughs> ignore the way it looks. <laughs> no. it. Maybe eat with your eyes. No, but it's it's really fine. <laughs> it's just the way the spices are spread. But. That's what I'm saying. I think they didn't because like it, it catches the spices better when you dry them. Like it holds the flavor better. I could see it coagulating already. I was like, dang. I'm definitely holding the flavor. Like <laughs> It's a potato, so like you can't mess it up. Like it's a potato, it's gonna taste good. But yeah, the seasoning is <laughs> it's like spotted potato. We're so hungry, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> mm. How is it with the hummus? I love potatoes with hummus, <laughs> like French fries with hummus. Yeah, that's what we get at like hummus bar. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely tastes different than the deli. Mm. Mm. They're just so crispy. I'm brown. I mean, I can put them in for more time. Yeah. Unless you want to, but they're already... I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm gonna broil it, but... We have these giant schnitzels. These are my favorite things, like giant chicken fingers. Mmm. I mean, those are bomb. Mm -hmm. Those hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I just use a little work? Mmm. They're so juicy, too. Like, that thin slice... Mm -mm -mm. You really make them perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm. The panko crumbs. Look at that. Perfection. And those look, I mean, it feels like we're at hummus bar with the fries and the, um, we just need O-Res. Mm. I love this. Hmm? Love it with the hummus. <laughs> That's a new one. Have you tried that before? Trader Joe's my Mm-hmm. I've had it before. I thought we could have made our homemade ones here. Because <laughs> We just need to cook the hummus for like five hours. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. When people can home make a whole dish, they give me mad pops. Yeah, from scratch. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Like, can you make our bonzo beans from scratch? Mm -hmm. Or like pita bread. You have to buy those really tiny garbanzo beans. And then what? You put them together to make a bigger garbanzo. <laughs> oh. Are you being funny? You can't make it more homemade than that. You have to get them in a can or something. Um, or dried. <laughs> I have to yeah. be serious. No, you just, it'll grow them. These are so funny. <gasps> I don't mind them. <laughs> They're good. Like, literally the most simple recipe is like, got this, so easy. I don't understand how I mess up things like this. I guess you said this is really important. Don't do this. Or Man, do this. That's totally fine. Like some. I don't even taste the salt on it or anything. 
How did you apply the actual? The same way I on? did. The exact same way I did. So what is it like? You just put them, make them. Yeah, she did it on like in a bowl with potatoes, the same way. I know. I feel like I did something wrong there, but it was the exact same. The only thing I can think she did different is just really dried them. I think maybe more oil. I was thinking less oil because she uses very little, oh. and I used a lot, so I thought maybe maybe the oil was making it fall. Maybe less oil on them. Cause she's she's a little. I put a lot. Well, I usually do with chicken. I put a ton of olive oil, but we'll just do it again and see. I think I like our mashed potatoes better though. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make new mashed potatoes. Cause that's what I was wondering if you what when we make schnitzel is this the new mm -mm. side dish? Oh no! Oh, mashed potatoes. Is my fave when we make schnitzel. Usually I have like one chicken and then that's it. Well, then we also have corn. Well, yeah, the mix of it. On Wednesday I'm gonna make garlic mashed potatoes with a pot of um, a beef pot roast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about it. I love the first beef dish we're trying. <laughs> and the beef we try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I love this time of night when it's silly bones. It's like so late. I feel like, I don't know if it's like showing, but like sometimes when we cook, it's like so late and we did so much during the day. But this is like a weird, like, it's like a zoning out time. We're about to go on the couch, watch a TV show. It's like, I'm very meditative. Eating. So it feels like I could fall asleep for the night. Mm -hmm. I think mean, cooking is really meditative for me. Meditative? Am I saying that right? Meditative? Meditative? Yeah. Meditative. <laughs> Very meditative. Like when I cook, I kind of... I love it. I really love to do it. It's so much fun. It's better than the ambrosia salad. <laughs> we have more in the fridge. <laughs> that is the weirdest dish ever. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Everyone told me that too. Everyone's like, mm, that's like not good. like dish. a pretend dish. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Like a kid just made something and you're like, oh, here you go. <laughs> um, I'm very festive with that plate. It's all the same brand. It's like Le Cousset or something. Like what does it even mean, the first word of the salad? Ambro I don't know. I can look it up. Ambrosia. Let's see. Do you guys know at home? First letter, first word of ambrosia. I don't know. It does sound like a name. Or it's not like a color. Like, like, no, it's like almost like... Ambrosia. Faux something. You know, it's like fake. <laughs> Let's just see what it means. It's like faux salad. It basically, the first thing that comes up, it just says pudding. Or maybe it is. What exactly is ambrosia? The food of the Greek and Roman gods. The ointment or perfume of gods. <laughs> that did not feel like the food of the gods. No. The word ambrosia means delicious or fragrant. That's what I'm saying. Like this dish is so pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> that the gods yeah. on Mount Olympus ate ambrosia <laughs> to maintain immortality. They did not eat this salad. Yeah, without it they became weak. Uh huh. They had canned cherries and canned. Oh my <laughs> god, the gods bathed in ambrosia and used it as perfume. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this dish is like from beginning to end. <laughs> I love that. Somebody was so pretentious. Like, somebody was invited to a dinner party and they had to make something. <laughs> and they had a few cans of stuff. So they put a can of cherries, a can of, you know, like, what was it, pineapple? <laughs> and then, like, okay, what else do we have in the fridge? They're like, oh, we have some. <laughs> Put that in, mix it, and then they showed up with it. It's like, what is, this is the food of the gods. <laughs> this is a Do you think they had fruit marshmallows back then? No, I'm saying the person that made, oh, that up, oh. <laughs> made up this whole thing. I'll ask my ancestors since I am Greek. They'll know what's up. <laughs> Maybe they made it. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> You could just make up anything. I think that's how a lot of like churches started. Like, 
a lot of churches were started by just people, <laughs> like just a regular people. And they're like, this is my church. This is our new rules. What was other Mormon? I know. That's what, or, I looked more into it. But even like the Lutheran church was started by a person, like everything was started by like a person basically, except for Judaism and look at Catholicism. What? Scientology. Well, <laughs> that's all the level of balance. I mean that. I try to like study it and like think like listen to like the teachings of it, but it's so far off from everything. Like Mormons have kind of same values as Christians. Like everyone, even Muslims have same values. You know, like you kind of all have like core values, but then, <laughs> that one's like a different book, a different person, a different God. <laughs> but hey, you might be right. I'm not judging it. I just didn't understand it. I'm telling. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, ambrosia salad <laughs> is the Scientology of salads. Well, in that case, sign me up for Scientology because that's the only salad I'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there's like, <laughs> you know, there's like salads with vegetables and things, <laughs> and then there's ambrosia. <laughs> it's like, it tastes better than an Israeli salad, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should mix ambrosia salad with your Israeli fruit salad. I go for that. The strawberries and bananas you cut up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could try it. We do it in a mix. I would go for that. And then we can call our baby ambrosia because then it'll be a mixed Israeli and Greek salad. Both of my parents. Your Israeli salad was good. But I could have used a little cool one. <laughs> I think that's the perfect combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. So fun to have some mukbang with. I feel like I've done mukbangs because we always ask, do you still, I, mean, I still do mukbangs, I just do them after cooking. And that's just so much fun with someone. Like, I did mukbangs alone for so many years. I'm like, Especially like sitting at home by yourself when you like order a meal, you're just kind of like, oh. Not that it's sad, it's not sad if that's what you do, because I, but it's just, I did it for so long, like 12 years. So now I'm like, oh my god, I have a little mukbang partner with me. <laughs> That eats the same foods I do. <laughs> That's a challenge in LA is finding someone who eats, who likes the same foods. Mm -hmm. There's so many different diet people, people who only eat meat, people who are vegan, people who, you know, there's just so many specific diets out there. So it's like. The same for me. Like, it's nice to have somebody to cook with because. I love home cooked meals, but just as one person, it's hard. Mm -hmm. You just don't do it. I agree. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I couldn't, I wouldn't just make this for myself because it's like it is a lot <laughs> to do it all. And well, now we have a child, so it'll never just be us or just one of us. There'll always be reason to cook. Always somebody to feed. Where do we put her when we cook? Like in a little high chair out here, or what? They love sitting on the counter. On the counter, babe. In the chair. Oh yeah. Wait, but like sitting at the counter, not on the counter. I mean, not on the counter. I've never see. seen a baby. <laughs> no. They have a little chair and they sit. On it. Maybe at the counter, <laughs> not on the counter. Like high chair. But then it's kind of when they're on the counter, they're like eye level with you. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Which one do you like? Mm, I just want like half of one. We'll just eat as much as you want of that one. I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me feel that one. <laughs> this one is chunky. Okay, okay, I have this one. Then. Like that one is the skin. Mm, mm -hmm. You can hear the. It's so good. Thank you. I know which one you <laughs> This is so good. The panko, the chicken, so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. They will actually finish mm -hmm. all the chicken. I know. I love that. I hate when we have extra. I mean, I know that like you eat it sometimes, but I like having the right amount. Mm -mm. I know someone asked me my life day when I was going to do my next fast food mukbang. It's so weird. Like, I just, 
I just can't get into it. Like I like I want to. Like when I'm glam, I'm like, oh, I should go get something. I don't know. Even that day I got the Jumbo Juice and pretzel. I was like, oh, I should go get fast food, but like nothing sounds good. I don't know. I like I like like fries, I guess, from there, but like their chicken. After you have like this chicken, I'm like, I can't have a nugget. I actually watched the guy, the guy like Joshua Weisserman, the cook I watch. Um, he did a dupe of the Wendy Spicy Chicken Nugget, and it's actually ground chicken in the nugget. So he like got a chicken breast and then he grounded it up. Because <laughs> when you bite into it, like it's not chicken, you don't feel the fiber of the chicken. Uh, so yeah, it's like, like it's like bread. Yeah, it's never a good. That's why. Look how this, thin that is. This how is like that? straight up chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all the same and to be honest like it just was so much work for this chicken nugget didn't look as good as the Wendy's one like honestly just, he kind of said that too he said honestly Wendy's kind of like crushed it cause Wendy's? Mm -hmm. do you have any other nuggets? no are spicy nuggets? pretty good one thing I don't miss oh we opened our stroller today we didn't even talk about that We'll just put together Pretty our cool. three-piece stroller set. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, it's like three strollers in one. It's really, really cool. And the car seat. And it's so bougie. I don't know why I just love the one that... It's like the Moses in the basket. It's like this basket. Yeah, that is totally. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I love that one. It looks comfortable, too. Like, she can, like, just sleep. That one what if like, she wants to get up? Maybe that's when she's a really little baby. Yeah, no, she's not... This is not when she can get out. You can't be in a bathroom. Time. Yeah. It takes time until they first they roll, mm -hmm. then start crawling. Well, before that, the first thing they do is lift their head up. Right. Like just like doing a little push up. Mm -hmm. So there's time until they do that, roll, crawl, before they can actually see that. Mm -hmm. Then we gotta put the baby bumpers on around the house. Gotta contain the baby in one spot. Because <laughs> we have a lot of like step step ups and stuff in our house, so. But it's easy here. Yeah. Because you can. Like our bedroom, we close the door, it's like we're gonna carpet the floor, it's like this huge space. Mm -hmm. It's just wrong. That's true. The family room, like the playroom. There's a step down to it, and it's narrow, so we just close that, and that's it. There's mm -hmm. nowhere to go from there. Um, what are we going to do in there, like rugs? Some rugs, some... You know how they have those foam floors? Oh, yeah. That are, like, colorful with some design or something. Mm -hmm. So we have some of that. We'll have some furniture. I'm excited to see that. Hmm. It'd be fun. It's a great room. Yeah. It's we big. never really used it since we've been here, huh? It's so big. Yeah. It's a huge room. We always had ideas for it, but we never finished them. So it's kind of nice now it can be a playroom. Mm -hmm. I think after the grids grow up, it will become the Elvis room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's way down the line, like 20 years. Because when they get older, we can... Make it a school, like their little school room. Put a little desk in there for them. I was that would be so fun to have like a desk at home. I thought it would be so cute. Like, little, get your pencils out, like, the ones that fold open. My grandma had to play one like that. And that was so cool. That was so much fun. Wow, we really did eat all that chicken. That was good. Mmm. Not only did we like work today, we also had our doctor's appointments today. Like the morning was like one day and then the second half of the day. That's like three parts a day. Yeah. And I, was, I thought it was gonna be easy, it's an easy chill day. <laughs> Never is. That's why Wednesday, like when I make the pot roast, so like that's all I have to do that day. That'd be like really chill. And it's a pot roast and like a crock pot, so. She cooks it on the stove for a little bit. And then she puts it on the thing. And the mashed potatoes look super easy. <sighs> well, guys, these potato wedges were 
I'm a little tired. Mm. They're good. Just rub them evenly. And... <laughs> Not like us. Okay, good. That's the way it's supposed to look. No, they're supposed to be brownish oranges with like a little bit of seasoning, like flecks on it. Not like chunks of seasoning. Look at this one. Big. Wow. <laughs> mm. What are we going to watch tonight? When do new episodes of that show come out? On Saturday. I love, we love Claim to Fame. Well, there's a San Diego. Mmm. I was just thinking that. It's only 8 o'clock. We've been staying up kind of late. We've been getting up late. Which has been kind of nice. I love Meredith. I do love Meredith at first sight. <laughs> I think that gives me like nostalgia, quarantine vibes. I also just love like people falling in love and like. And that show, the last season in particular, like, they just all wanted to be married so bad, and I, like, relate to that. It's like, because at a certain age, you're just, like, I think that's, like, parenthood, too. Like, it's not everybody, but most people are just, like, okay, there's something missing. So, like, you get married because you're, like, okay, now I have a partner in life, and it feels really good. Not that there's something missing, but you're just, like, I don't know. I guess, like, the next step, I guess that's just humans. Like, the next step just feels like, oh, I really want a baby. I don't know. It's really weird. Because I got married. Okay, it's great. We have a partner, and I'm like, no, you're a little baby. I wonder why people feel the need to breed. <laughs> it's nature. Yeah. Yes. Nature wants to grow, expand, leave on. Yeah, what is the purpose of it, though? Like, why are we breeding and expanding? I don't think we have time. <laughs> Do you know the answer? Do you have mm -hmm. an answer? Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a channel water mm -hmm. video. Yes. <laughs> Do you have one out there? Mm -hmm. About that? What's it called? <laughs> it's about the meaning of life. Oh, wow. You have one called The Meaning of Life? Something like that. Check out Channel Water, The Meaning of Life. Do you get new comments on there? Because you get email notifications. Mm -hmm. Some people are always finding it. It's very niche. I really like niche here. <laughs> Nothing like the Lost Podcast. <laughs> Channel Water got more views than that. <laughs> no. Yeah, it did. Maybe. Babe. The last podcast has just started. I think it's over. I think it's time to retire that, actually. That set up there. <laughs> See them, like, okay. I've <laughs> been so busy. But I know. No, I know. It's been... No, like, I, I can't wait to change. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you have been busy. And I feel like the bigger I get, the more I'm just, like... Because I kept... I keep, my task is to clean off these kitchen tables because I need to do it because I need to organize. But it's just, like... Okay, tomorrow... Tomorrow. Wednesday I can. No, they're doing carpeting. I can't because I have to go put the stuff up in my closet. Well, we need to clean anyways for your family. Mm -hmm. You know what I would love to do? I'll use your family as a good excuse to get it cleaned. Is that counter. Because you see it in everything. You see it in the cooking ones. Like the one with the checkbook on it and all the bowls. Oh. That's easy. Is it? Where are we going to go with all that stuff though? That bowls are so heavy. I, mean, I cleared everything above it, so. Yeah. It's not the one thing that like, it bothers me. I don't know. It's so weird. I'm so like over clutter. I just want to throw everything away. But I'm not strong enough. Because I need my big strong body. We just need to know priorities. I know. I throw a lot at you. You know what my priority is? Making baby number two. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. It feels like we're like, okay, gotta make another one. We'll enjoy our first one for have all the holidays with her. My pumpkin spice latte with my baby pumpkin spice. Then we got Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah, we got all the holiday. I feel like this is our first year where we don't have anything like. Right. Like it's always been like music videos, engagement, wedding. Like there's always something that's pressing and expensive. This year we can like focus on holidays, making memories. Staying home. Staying home, yes. With the family. Well, like we crave that. People are like, okay, you're going to stay home for the next year. I'm like, thank God. <laughs> I have <laughs> yeah. a great excuse. <laughs> they so weird. People are so weird. Like, you're going to be home for a whole year. I'm like, what else do I do? <laughs> that is what I do. In fact, if anything, I'm going to have to find ways to get out of the house, take her out of the house, although I shall be in here for too much. I'll be like, okay, let me find something to, to do, baby stuff. At the beach and stuff. Yeah, take her to the ocean. 
Laguna, where we went for Christmas. Yeah. Just that around that time doesn't be on Christmas Day, but. Santa Barbara. That's a really good one. She has to see the Madonna Inn. She'll love that. Rounds, yeah, I can't imagine for a kid what that place. Well, I guess growing up in this house, she'll be kind of. Oh yeah, I feel like going anywhere else, she'll be like, mm. <laughs> "Your house isn't like this." <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. I know because we have so many stimulations around the house for visuals. I mean, even when adults come in, they're just like, "Whoa." <laughs> well, in her room, yeah, our house is not um, conventional, traditional. Definitely not. I like conventional tradition. I like like modern looking like the Kardashians, but I don't think that'll ever be us. <laughs> We're just a little bit different. But that's, that house is more like a set than ours, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. But it does look kind of open and nice. Like I do like that. That's what I'm saying. Some clutter bothers me because it is kind of nice to have it like open a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I, ours is just colorful and just all over the place. So. But their house, they don't even have sinks or faucets. I do wonder how she does the dishes with that little, little That's what baby I'm saying. sink. She's not doing the dishes. You never know. <laughs> There's a room in the back for where... Well, honestly, the dishes is kind of annoying, I guess. Actually, I don't mind dishes. I would be more like a cook. Oh, I like cooking, too. But it would be nice to have a cook once in a while, too. Yeah, you like those. Okay, well, you're going so for... <laughs> Are you just saying that? No. This is perfect. This is where... Okay. What are we having for dessert? Ambrosia? Food of the gods. <laughs> you want that for real? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna have? What did we have last night for dessert? Maybe ice cream. Oh, I've had ice cream in a while. You brought me. Oh, the sandwich. I was like, what did you bring me? I'm sorry, Doug. We have melon. Can we have ice cream? <laughs> melon is not dessert. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. All right, guys. Oh, battery's dying too, so that means time to go. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to my wonderful husband for being my muffin partner in life. Thank you for the cooked dinner. <laughs> for us, and the potato wedges I'll leave below. She did a really good job on it. I think I just screwed it up. So go watch it if you want to learn the right way. Tell me what I did wrong, honestly, because I'm like I don't really know. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.